Hey everyone, so as you all probably know from the um, title, these are going to be my 2012 favorites. Honestly, I cannot believe that it's almost 2013, like in a day, because um, I lived in California prior to moving here, and um, we moved in March 2012. And it feels like I just moved here because I'm still, like, getting the hang of things. But in reality, it's like we've almost lived here for, like, a year. And it's crazy how time flies because I cannot believe that we've almost lived here a year. It's tough leaving where I was, but I think about it, like, every day. So it's really crazy that it's been almost a year. Anyways, um, I know that I'm really washed out, but I'm experimenting with lighting right now. Soon I'll have like a green screen and better lighting, so I'll experiment with that as well later on. Um, I made a list of things like for 2012, like what I've liked. So I think first I'll start off with mascara. As you can tell from like most of my tutorials, um, I love the Maybelline Colossal Lash. Honestly, I love all Maybelline mascaras, but this one has to be like a favorite. I've repurchased it countless times, at least 15 times. And they la it lasts quite a bit. Um, then also the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I know like a lot of people are saying, oh, it's nothing special, it doesn't do anything different, it's expensive, but for me, it's like amazing. The brush is great with a little ball at the end. So to me, it's definitely a favorite because it worked like wonders on my lashes, um, especially paired with Colossal Lash. And then my foundation. Whoop! Well then, so the Mac, my Mac Fix Plus has been a favorite of mine since like 2012, um, but this is an NC20, winter I'm NC20, and then summer I'm NC25, and I mix it, this one's really thick, and this one's more liquidy, and this one is lighter than this one, um, so, yuck. So in some portions of my face, I want it lighter. Like, I always put lighter foundation up here, and I always put lighter foundation along my nose. So I mix these two together. And this is Revlon's Photo Ready in 004 Nude, and I love mixing these two together. For bronzer and blush, whoop, for bronzer, bronzer and blush, I'm so sorry, everything's falling down. Um, definitely my favorite would be Benefits Hula Bronzer. This is a, th I love it so, so, so much. It's a matte bronzer, works wonders. I'm fairly, like, pale, um, but on me it, like, works, like, wonders. And also I think it's XS, XX Every Girl XX. She uses it as well, and she's paler than I am. Um, she's beautiful, but she's paler than I am, and it works, like, amazing for her, too. But she's beautiful without makeup, so. Then, for my blush, it would have to be Melba. It's a matte, bl matte blush from MAC. It's just a matte hot pink. I mean, a matte blush. It's not quite coral. Like it, It's, like, orange. It's an orange-toned blush. But it's still super, super beautiful. Then, oh, my favorite concealer. So my favorite concealer would have to be Benefits Erase Paste. Um, I have it in number one. Really, um, I think it's like works amazing and ooh, it works amazing and it's like salmon tone so it really corrects under corrects under my eye um 
so I really like it. Also, I like love the ben uh, Benefits Lemonade. It's really like a color correcting like eyelid primer. You're supposed to put it on your eyelid. But it's yellow toned and yellow tones and salmon tones work really great under your eyes. So I use it under my eye instead of like a primer on my lid. And I've seen that that works like amazing. Actually when I picked it up I thought it was a concealer. And then I read it more carefully and it said that it was an eyelid primer. Um, also this is my Maybelline Instant, Instant Age Rewind. And I have it in... 20 light pale because I really love that Kim K highlight. Um, this is my third one. Um, I really really like it. A lot of people don't see like why it's so a lot of people don't see why it's so good, but I do. Um, and also the hard can candy glamouflage heavy duty concealer. Um, some days I don't feel like doing a lot of foundation. So I take a squeeze of this, a squeeze of BB cream and put it all over my face and it's like instant full coverage. Like so this is amazing. Like it's great for spot um spot correcting under the eyes. Um I have this in light for specifically a highlight under my eyes, like in a concealer for my dark circles, but um I think I'm going to pick it up in a skin tone color so I can mix it easier with my BB creams. Um, also, there are three like face products I've been loving. I love the uh, Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer and it's oil free. Um, it really like controls my oils. Um, I like the Witch Hazel like cleansing pads because they're really, really amazing, and they tone correct your skin. I love the Garnier um, Anti-Wrinkle Firming Eye Cream because I wrinkle up underneath my eyes. It's because I don't wear sunglasses like I should, and when I tan, I don't cover my face. So it's just like a wrinkle cream. Um, and then this is the Vicky um, Even Pro Daily eye corrector which is for dark circles and dark spots. For a hair product I've really really been loving the Chi um, Iron Guard. My sister is in cosmetology school so she gave me this. Um, she hates the smell but I love how it smells. It smells like a guy's cologne and I really like it and it seems to work great for me. Also I love the It's a 10 with keratin treatment in it. Um, I've gotten quite a few piercings in 2012, um, so I've been liking to clean all of that with my H2 Ocean. Um, also, sometimes if like it's I'm like incredibly hot or need like to wake myself up, I'll spray it on my face, and that also works very well. Um, now for like uh, lipsticks. It'd have to be... <laughs> My two would have to be creme brulee, which is a Revlon lip butter. I think all the lip butters would definitely have to be favorites of mine. It's just like creme brulee, I bet everyone knows what it looks like. It's just like a... Extremely moisturizing nude. Um, I'd also have to say that I love uh, the NYX one in Circle. It's the perfect nude for my skin tone. So, yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, and obviously EOS lip balms. Especially this tropical fruit. Like, that's like a no-brainer. Um, for a lip gloss, it'd be the Revlon 040 in Bellin. Um, I have extremely bad eyesight, so I can't read that. But I think that's what it says. I can read the number. but And it's a matte lip gloss, but it like has shimmer. 
I mean, it has shimmer because it's a lip gloss, but it's like matte. It doesn't have like any kind of sparkles in it. And it's the Color Burst one um, in 042. It's so, 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 so good. Definitely been loving it. Um, oh, and for a lip liner, I've been loving the L'Oreal Color Rich in Rose, which is a color like this. And it's like a pink nude mauve color. I've been loving that. For eyeliner, definitely, 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 definitely my Maybelline Lash uh, eye, eye Stiletto. It's not quite felt tip, but it's not quite like a dual one. I can't really explain it. It goes on perfectly. And this is probably like my fourth tube. And I've even got my sister hooked on it. Um, okay, so I have, like, a few palettes that I've been loving. Definitely my Smoke Palette by Urban Decay. Um, I feel like it's perfect and great. And, like, I could do so many looks with this palette. It's crazy. Like, more than you think. See, I have, like, really funky lights right now because I'm waiting for, like, my umbrella lights and my green screen and everything to come in the mail. So, right now I'm using those. I had an umbrella light, but I don't even know. So, that's what it is. And it even got me loving the eyeliner that comes with it in Perversion. I've even gotten another one just to keep, like, because I, when the eyeliners come with palettes, um, I typically keep it with the palette because if I throw it in my bag or something to go I'll have the full thing um also with the Lorac like chocolate ones um mine's kind of dirty but I really love the one that's supposed to be like the white chocolate with sorry it's so dirty but with the like gray tones um the this is a silver this is a gray black and like this is definitely a dupe for Max Shroom eyeshadow. It's really pretty, but I've used it a lot, and it's gotten fairly dirty. Um, another palette that I like is, it's in no particular order. I just, like, it's a really old palette, and it's just my MAC palette, the one that I filled up with all of my eyeshadows that I love most. Um... Yeah, so these are, like, I definitely love that. Um, oh, and then, like, like a, a potted eyeshadow would have to be Wood Winked by MAC. It's so pretty. It's, like, the perfect gold. I just, I'm in love. Nothing to say about it. Um, sorry I keep saying um. For a highlight, it'd have to be the Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC in Soft and Gentle. Um, I'm not affiliated by MAC, it's just, I love MAC. I wish I was affiliated by them. I wouldn't be ashamed of it, because I love them. Um, but in Soft and Gentle, which is a great highlight. Um, Tiki by Hard Candy is definitely a, uh, dupe. Which I bought, and then my sister liked it, so I gave it to my sister. Her and I, like, um, we're, like, best friends. We're seven years apart, but people think that we're only a year apart because I look extremely older than I am. Um, and we're, like, best friends. Like, we fight and stuff, but we love each other. And when we go shopping, like, if I see a shirt that I like and I don't have the money for it, she'll get it for me. Or like the other day, I got her a candle in Twisted Peppermint from Bath & Body Works, and she got me a shirt. Or like, we don't do it on like, oh, if you get me this, I get you that, but it's just like being nice. So sometimes I pick makeup products up, and I like sh I see that she likes it, and so I'll just give it to her, even like not half used or anything, even though she wouldn't mind that, but you know. Um. Okay, and my favorite candle, like, 
I know it just came out, but my favorite, favorite candle. I bought two, like, backups for this because I know it only comes out in Christmas time. But the Bath and Body Works candle and Frosted Cranberry. Oh, it's so amazing. It smells so good. Like, I have a bunch. I have, like, counting just Bath and Body Works candles that I have right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I bought 15 candles. Oh, but I have three. I didn't include the backups that I have for this, but I have three backups for this one. Um, and then brushes that I've been loving. Uh, my BH Cosmetics stippled brush, stippling brush. Amazing. My Sigma F86, which is a tapered brush that I like rubbing concealer in. My flat top kabuki brush, and it's an F80 by Sigma. I love like all Sigma brushes, no lie. I need to get more, but they're like expensive for the whole packs. Um, the P84, which is this that I use for brows. Max 217, which is a crease brush. Max 224, which is a blending brush. And P82 by Sigma, which is a concealer brush. And then for two pigments that I've been loving. I've been loving Max Reflective Blue, or Refle Reflex Blue. And it's like a white pigment with like blue and purple reflex in it. And also the Infallible Pressed. It's really, it's like a dupe for the pressed pigments that are limited edition for MAC. Like it's a complete dupe. I have um, Light Touch by MAC Pressed Pigment. And this is Ice Latte and it's like a complete dupe. Um, and it's just like a, a pressed pigment. Um, so that concludes, it's a really long video, geez, but that concludes my, um, 2012 favorites. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be posting more videos, so stay tuned. Bye, guys.